importance. Padus helped us all out by baking bread for us so that we didn't have to take time out from puppy playtime. Mr. Johnson watched all the activities from the safety of his high chair in the corner that he has claimed as his. The puppies would play and then just go flat out asleep on the floor. The upcoming video I'm going to allow to speak for itself. I sat on the floor to enjoy my time with the puppies. I didn't have to ask twice if they wanted to join me in playing. Alice took pictures with my camera so that I would have these photos to go with my Polish Puppy Project weekend memories. I really do thank her. Hania joined me as we petted and played with these wiggly balls of white fur, which were called puppies. Thor chose to be my special friend. He is the largest of the pups and has a big, soft heart. He came to me regularly to get his Thor hugs. Kama would join us and make sure everyone was doing okay. The puppies would take time out to drink and lay down for a nap. This pup was groomed first by Kama, then by Beta to look its very best. Its new family was due to, soon to arrive to pick it up and take it to its new home. Betta did take time to enjoy some Ludwig honey. Mr. Johnson tried the puppy milk bones that I had brought and decided he likes them also. I believe that we provided entertainment for the barn cats as they did come to the window ledge and looked in to watch us make fools of ourselves as we played and played and played with these puppies. A number of times each day, Betta would go up to see and check on the puppy's well-being. Betta used a red dustpan in her litter cleaning, and it became a fun game for the puppies to grab the dustpan and run off and hide it in their little sleeping compartment of made of hay. I don't know who looked forward to these visits most. It was a joy for me to stand back and watch them.
<laughs> On Monday, a man was scheduled to come from Warsaw to pick up a pup named Tina. The sun was out and shining brightly, so Betta decided that we should give Tina and her sister, Tella Bella, <laughs> exercise in the snow. This would help Tina on her five-and-a-half-hour trip to her new home. <laughs> Needless to say, we all enjoyed ourselves. These little fellows don't seem to realize that it's cold, <laughs> and they just played and played and played. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, go upstairs and... Betty did go upstairs and get the rest of the puppies. We all played and played and played. There was a favorite pig toy in the backyard, and the puppies all enjoyed it. We played out here so long that we lost track of time. And then Betty's telephone rang. The man that was coming to pick up the puppy was only a half hour away, and we had to scurry to get everything ready for his arrival. In late afternoon, when Tadus returned from work, he looked out the kitchen window, and he said, What happened in the backyard? Betty and I had to both confess up to what we had done in the morning. As we were out in the snow and all the puppies were playing around it, it confirmed in my heart that I knew that Thor should not live in the hot South Carolina weather. The man from Warsaw turned out to be Australian and he spoke English, so I had several conversations with him. I did have to confess to him that we had played so long with the puppies that that was the reason that Tina was just laying on the floor sleeping. She did wake up in time to win his heart, and he went out to move her carrier to the front seat so that he could watch her closely on the ride home. I was surprised to be presented with this stuffed dog to bring home to the United States from my trip to Poland. Mr. Johnson and Kama both had to check him out and make sure that he was up to their standards. I packed him in my bag, and off he came with me to return home from this wonderful trip.